These renders show what the IM2 mission is expected to look like through animation. We asked the mission team how closely these animations are to reality. Yeah, I'm Tim Crane. I'm the Chief Technology Officer and Chief Growth Officer for Intuitive Machines. I'm a co-founder. Um, I was employee number one and um, I'm a mission director for the blue team. So that means I'll be on console overseeing our operations during the landing of Athena. Okay. All right, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna see what the magicians have come up with. Okay, I've got the earth. There we are coming up on the SpaceX rocket. Oh, nice. Separation. That actually looks a lot like what it looked like. Oh, wow. Now we've got the ride shares on the way to the moon separating after us. That looks a lot like what it looked like on IM-1 when we got the pictures down from SpaceX. That's very cool. Okay. So now we're, we're turning to get the solar arrays to the sun and our antenna is aligned with Earth. So there's a, a period of time once we separate from the vehicle where the computer will wait, it goes through a timer and then it begins to power up systems and then it uh, achieves attitude control and then it starts to orient the vehicle. There's an uncertain amount of time in there for when the comm system actually activates and establishes the link with the ground. So it could be as short as two minutes, but we're always holding our breath because you don't know. Now, in IM-1, it was right at the minimum time. So there was very little um, you know, anxiety. We, we were seeing data. It all looked good really, 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 really early. So, but still, it's a long two minutes when you know you've got the separation signal and you're waiting to see how you came off. And, and as you get pushed off, there's some uncertainty. If you're going to push off in a way where the antennas are early on facing uh, the earth or if it's going to take a while to turn them back around and, and get everything configured. So it, it's a little bit of an of a early um, anxiety point until you see the first blips and packets come across the, the radio. All right, we've got RCS jets firing. Oh, the mirror underneath the solar array, that's so cool. You know, you see this in your mind's eye when you're operating the vehicle. Um, but to see the, uh, the third person perspective in an animation is pretty incredible. Yeah, the jets will fire a bit and then they'll settle down. Oh, there we go, nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd say it was accurate in content. The, the difference is um, the time span, right? There's, there's long intervals of, of just holding attitude and waiting, and then we prepare the vehicle for the maneuver, and then it turns, and then you execute the maneuver. So in here, you've compressed it so you can see it all in one viewing. But there are these long intervals of boredom where you're, you're just coasting through space. Um, and then it gets a little bit more exciting and a little bit more exciting, and then the part where all those jets were firing and then we fired the thruster and there we go. <laughs> that was very accurate when you get to that point. It just takes a long time between the time we launch in there. So yeah, uh, the motion of it though, very accurate, very accurate. That was cool. So we'll imagine going, um, you know, a large maneuver during transit could be 10 or 20 meters per second. So you're really accelerating and, and, and moving out um, in a hurry from a fixed observer. That's, that's pretty accurate. 